Good afternoon or good evening whenever you're getting the opportunity to open this up for the first time. Uh, I hope you've so far had a uh, wonderful adjustment back to school. Uh, I hope you all had a uh, wonderful summer. Uh, my name is Lee Miller and welcome to American History One. Uh, American History is uh, probably one of my favorite times um, to study on my own. Um, even though I do teach face-to-face -face in Randolph County at a school called Providence Grove High School, uh, I mostly actually teach uh, world history. I've taught some American history in my face-to-face -face job, uh, but American history is by far my favorite to actually just study on my own uh, and for fun. Now, uh, this course, we've got quite a bit to cover. Uh, we're going to start with the age of exploration. Uh, you know, if you've ever been to the beach and you stand at the water and you see this line, it's almost kind of like where the water just drops off, is where the, where the sky and the water meet. Um, there's going to come a point to where explorers want to know what's on the other side of that what's what's beyond the the horizon and they're going to set out uh, to start exploring and figuring that out of course the Europeans are going to make their way um, here of course you know Christopher Columbus in 1492 uh, oftentimes gets a lot of the credit with dis discovering uh, the new world uh, but what he really does is he sets up trade uh, between the new world and the old world the old world of of course, being uh, Europe. And then the Europeans are going to begin to colonize uh, in what become known as the Americas. Uh, the colonies are going to build themselves up and they're eventually going to rebel and try to overthrow uh, Great Britain. And that, of course, leads us to the American Revolution. And, and even after years of being united after the revolution, uh, we are going to get to the Civil War. And the Civil War is going to be the last topic that we get to talk about in American History One. Uh, next semester, or whenever you take American History II, you'll you'll go after the Civil War on up to uh, where we are today in the United States. So we do have a lot to uh, cover. Um, so we will go ahead and hit the ground running. A couple of key things uh, that that you do need to know. Uh, some of the the key features over here. Um, the uh, home button which is what you'll see as soon as you log in uh, to Canvas and then you'll be able to select the course um, that you're going to be working on. Uh, the, to me though the heart and soul of this course will be the announcements page. Uh, you'll need to make sure that you click on there uh, every day. That's where I will get us started. You usually have some type of introduction. Um, perhaps I'll have some type of activity for you to do in the announcement. Um, you know you will have uh, quite a bit of um, uh, class already set up as as far as vocabulary and notes um, after you've you've read the announcement and you know what your assignment is you'll need to go on into uh, modules and that's where you'll take your notes that's where you'll do your completion activities to me a lot of the completion activities uh, are actually rather enjoyable so I hope you I hope you get an opportunity to do those and uh, enjoy those as well um, so like I said, announcements uh, is kind of the, the heart and soul of this. Uh, the different assignments or the modules, these are two different ways that you can get to the work for the day. You'll need to keep up with your grades. Uh, after you complete something, um, if the uh, Canvas program doesn't automatically grade it for you, if it's something that I grade, uh, I, I usually do pretty good to try and get everything graded uh, within 24 hours of you submitting it. So uh, if, you, if you take a test or a quiz or you do a completion activity that you decide to turn into me, um, I will try to have those graded within 24 hours. So the next day you should have those back. Um, so those are really uh, the main things that you will need, the announcements, the assignments, grades, and modules. Those will be the main links uh, that we use. So uh, for today, um, if you are uh, starting on this glorious Monday, um, obviously you've already clicked on the announcement button and you've already clicked on this link. Um, what I would like for you to do is message me uh, the answer to these questions. Now you can message me uh, either through 
uh, the Canvas Messenger, or um, if you go to the home page, you will find my email address, which is lee.miller at ncpublicschools.gov. So if you go to the home page, you can find my email address there as well. But also feel free to use uh, Canvas Messenger. Uh, but if you'll, if you'll answer these specific questions for me, that would be greatly appreciated, just so I can get to know you uh, a little bit better. After you're done with that, you will go ahead and click on into modules or assignments. You'll go to Unit 1, um, and what I would like you to do is check out the Unit 1 Welcome, and when you're done with that, uh, take a look at the Unit 1 Pre-Assessment so we can kind of see uh, where you are uh, as as far as uh, Unit 1. Unit 1 is mostly going to be the age of exploration. So uh, if you will, please take that Unit 1 pre-assessment. Uh, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to, to email me or uh, send me a question through the messenger as well. But I'm really excited about this semester. I think we're going to have a lot of fun, or at least I hope we have a lot of fun. Uh, and I will catch you guys later. Have a great day.